Welcome to the Asprey. You're watching me and my golf TV, the very best in online golf instruction. I'm Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Premlin. Today we're talking about posture and how far you should be standing away from the golf ball. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, welcome to another beautiful day here at the Asprey. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. We've got lots of content on here that's hopefully going to help you with your game. But please leave a comment below if you'd like us to answer any of your questions regarding yeah, golf. And we'll get to as many as we can. And hopefully we could be doing a video up, up for you on here. So today we're answering a question from Matt Christopher and Jack Levitt yeah. on uh, posture. So um, very simple um, thing that we're going to talk about, yeah. Pierce, but it's probably overlooked by a lot of golfers, and posture really is key when setting up to the golf ball to get consistency. Massive. Um, now, the question they've asked is really how far should we stand away from the golf ball? Um, which is a good question. It is a good question. It's a good question. Pierce, how yeah, far should we, we stand away? The there. <laughs> I, I, there's no real exact distance, there's, a, there's sort of guidelines, really, but I think the thing is that if you can get into a good athletic posture, that'll set the distance. Yes. So everybody's different, you know, Ernie Els, Ian Woosdom, different shapes, you wouldn't tell them to stand the same distance from the golf ball, they are going to look very different over the golf ball, so we just need a drill really, don't we? We do. So, so I think it's key, so key to understand is that we don't actually, rather than think about the distance that you're away from the golf ball, it's more to do with the distance that you're away from the golf club, and the length of the golf club then dictates the distance that you're away. So, drill, drill piece, have we yeah, got a drill? Absolutely. Very, very simple, really. You know what, we've got hundreds of them, we've, got, we've, we've probably got about 50 on the website, with all the different drills, but I think this is probably the most effective one. So simply hold the golf club out in front of you, and then from there, let your upper arms rest onto your chest. So they sort of drop down into your body, and then from there, you can notice that my legs are straight by the way, sorry, but the, from there, just allow the weight of the club to just drop down like so. So I'm not, it's not dropping down like that, I've still got control of the club, but I'm just letting the club drop. Okay, so now I'm supporting the club just by the angle of my hand. And then from there, tip forward from your hips. Important you go from the hips till the club hits the ground. You'll notice your legs are straight. If you've got tight hamstrings, you may feel be this. feeling it a little bit out. But then from there, just let your legs soften. So from there, we can see distance from the ball. My hand, the club is approximately a hand span away from the inside of my left thigh. Which okay. is a pretty good guide, yeah. but I'll do that again. So again, let it relax, stand nice and tall club up, let it drop, arms into the chest, into the body, let the club relax, tip forward from the hips, soften the knees, and now I feel ready to go. Perfect. I can jump in any direction. Yeah, so again, very much there, and I think the, the key thing is your arms are, are really connected to the chest still, and we see so many people who are stretching out these arms away from the chest, and then it's very, very difficult to make consistent contact with that golf ball. So this arms to the chest first, maintaining that, then going down, is a really good way of judging that distance. And, and that works for every club piece, doesn't it? Without doubt. Without every club, whether it's a four iron, a six iron, a pitching wedge, do the same, and that will dictate the distance that you need to be away. So very simple, yep. need a little bit of practice, but Getting the athletic posture is going to help you strike the golf ball. Something to do, I mean, a, a great way to do that is if you go near balls at the range, do two of the posture drills, two of the posture drills, so, and then hit shot. Perfect. And then it really sort of gives you the sensation, then you'll feel the muscles in your legs and your backside, you know, they're loaded. And as Andy said, I, I think it's a really key one. We talk about this in the videos, get your arms close to your body. I think that really yeah. helps. It you know, really helps you control the golf club better. And it does. Well, I think I, we should see you hit one piece oh, with that. So let's go through this little drill. And yeah, it's, it's difficult to, to, to judge the exact distance, but it's possible to do it. You maybe have to shuffle a little bit. So drop the arms in, let the club drop, down it goes, soften, and then shuffle yourself in. So it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's doable. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Right at the middle. Right at the middle piece. Okay, so posture, really key. Very simple one there today for you, but I think if anybody who's watching this video should get up and do that because you may just find out that your posture could be slightly out and that could be the answer just to you making more solid contact with that golf Without club. Doubt. And I know Jack was um, saying he's new to the game as well, so it's, and this is ideal for anybody, whether you are someone who's just starting or whether you're a touring professional, you know, getting good posture, everything else works well in around the around It does. The golf it does. Get working on your posture then, guys. Post your comments down below we'd love to hear what you've got to say uh, any questions as we said there please post them and we'll get around to as many as we can we will thanks for watching guys thanks
tricky one. It is. Stop huffing it at me. I'm sick of hitting your alternate tee shots at the moment. Ah. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to hold on real tight. I'm leaning left. Let's give it a go. Right, golf ball coming out low. Yeah, I'm just going to chase up there. Running on. Probably a 